All right, day two of overlanding on the motorcycles here through Georgia and Alabama. Like I said last night, we're gonna be running through the rain. We're packed up early, gonna hit the road. Today is gonna be interesting. If you haven't seen day one yet with Crazy Creek Crossing and dumping of the bike, I'll uh, pop a video up here. Enjoy that, it was fun. We're gonna continue on, see if we can not run this rain, and this could be an interesting day. Let's hit the bikes, guys. Leaving campsite so far, not too technical. We'll see what today brings. Definitely gonna get wet at some point. Hopefully we uh, make it to Dalton in time. Roughly 80 to 90 miles of Dalton. We're gonna stay on the dirt and have some fun. Talking about that campsite last night, man. That was a blast. Two for two, if you see in the first video, two nights camping, both on a river, creek. suspect or a educated guess is not as many creek crossings today but then again it might have just uh, jinxed us and we're gonna see where we end up today just hitting the back roads we're gonna drive all the way across Georgia down into Alabama just on on back roads for service roads some double track which is always fun this is this is how you see the countryside First couple days riding until we're tired, set up camp and just sit down with a good company, relax and enjoy the fire. Tonight, hopefully a little different or we'll have uh, one heck of a wet camp. So far though, it's pretty good. A little sand, a um, little surprised to see this much sand up in the mountains in Georgia and North Carolina. We keep jumping back and forth a little bit over by the border. Definitely getting in some of that famous Georgia clay. This Georgia clay that can get crazy muddy um, is why I put the little fender lifters on the Himalayan which is known to have a small clearance between its fender and wheel for mud. I'll pop that video up here and then put it below as well. Just if this stuff gets muddy, that Georgia clay, South Carolina clay, it will create some havoc. We're gonna get after it here, see what we run into. And if I'm getting crazy or anything special happens, we'll bring it back, guys, but this is gonna be a great day. Let's ride. Yeah, guys, you can see this section isn't too bad, but that video yesterday and starting out from the campsite today, Barry had brought it up. That's a great comment. Like, there are some large boulders, really sharp rocks. We're banging these things pretty hard. We did a uh, tire inspection, and for myself, being a tubed, uh, real close <laughs> inspection, and really just looking over the rims, it's amazing how much abuse these adventure bikes can take, because we're just slamming them all over these rocks in here. I'm definitely impressed. favorite way to come off of two track dirt is riding right beside the river here look at these rapids man they're getting after it oh somebody's out fishing hopefully hopefully he's catching too god that is gorgeous rode above it for a little bit nice green beautifully clear i have no idea what river this is when you're just riding the back roads of the country and popping in and out of damn near anywhere oh look at this man That'd be some fun technical kayaking. Barry and I have done a lot of kayaking. What do you think about that, Barry? I know, right? Barry agrees. That would be epic. 
so far so good a little bit warmer morning thank goodness since we started early oh that's nice each car so far has had really good motorcycle etiquette and I appreciate it Man, it is ridiculous in here. It's impossible to turn off the camera. Looks like we're gonna cross this guy. And this is where our arrows start making sense again. Can you feel that moving, Barry? There's no doubt in our minds why they are constructing a new bridge. Oh man, I don't think we got time. I guess I'm breathing hard today, or it's probably the moisture. I'm getting uh, a little fogged up. We're just gonna ride this whole river. All right, we should be back on uh, gravel here soon, guys. I'll let you go. I think, man, this is just gorgeous. Just got back on gravel here, and this is the most manicured piece of uh, gravel we've seen the entire trip, like a real gravel road. There's a lot of really nice houses out here, though. This is definitely well-maintained. Getting about the nine o'clock hour. No rain, and it shouldn't be for a while yet. We're doing pretty good. This will help us keep our uh, speed up a little bit. This type of uh, gravel, as you can probably see, I'm eating a little dust here. I'm gonna back off a little bit. No worries. That's uh, give you a little more clearance on this road. Uh, you see the prescribed burn sticker, Barry? Uh, bright orange just saying uh, prescribed burn. So if we do any see any smoke, we at least now we know. little drainage creek and the large trees beside us man this is absolutely beautiful not a technical road by any means but that allows me to take in the view just a little bit more than normal Definitely a different look from what we've been in the last day or day and a half. Just a huge trees cut in road. Oh, well there's, there is a prescribed burn to our left, Barry, but it looked like it's uh, already kind of done. Absolutely. A little smoldering, but probably last few days. What a gorgeous ride, man. Yeah. 
beautiful mountain range. Come out into our first real big kind of open meadow with a view in a while. Definitely a couple large ones back there. I don't know if that's the Appalachian Trail or not, but it's stunning. Look at the clouds, clouds and sun behind me. I tell you what, man, for just a full-fledged residential, I would say, gravel road out here. This is gorgeous. Hey, horses, how you doing? Dalton the road uh, uh, let's try that again Dalton the uh, town that we're attempting to get to to stay dry today hey horsies my wife and I have been there in our camper van and we're walking around town we had noticed uh, little signs trail signs directly through town looked it up uh, probably about a year and a half ago when we were there and it's uh, called the Penhody Trail. Really nice uh, little mountain hiking trail through Alabama, Georgia. It actually is a little similar to this, just cut a little differently. And uh, had some damn good Mexican food, which hopefully Barry and I will be able to partake. But in a little over a week, there we go. We're going to hop back on tarmac. Not bad, man. For <laughs> open metals like that and views were epic but yeah in a little over a week we're uh, my wife and I are gonna be hopping out there and uh, doing the first half of that trail it's I think 330 miles so we're gonna do about half of it and do half just a little bit later when our schedule opens that'll be a ton of fun yeah all of this tarmac is just fantastic I think I'll say this each day. This will be my thing for this trip. Whoever put this route together, man, kudos to you. Great choice of gravels, connections. The tarmac has been beautiful. You gonna stop and turn it off? <laughs> yeah, you can go ahead. Wherever there's flat. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Oh, yeah. back on gravel now sitting beside this gorgeous piece of actually property and water hitting those ABS's off because I am horrible at remembering that and get back on it not too bad when you start the day out after any type of break or stop or when I get gas I'm famous for it just leaving that damn thing on it's really not that hard but it's my thing little over 20 miles in for the day nothing too technical so we're making some good time which is nice helps us outrun that rain there we go just a little bitty crossing mother nature was thinking my boots were getting a little too dry so I need to try to correct that
just passed what it, uh, uh, the Benton Mackay Trail, or Mackay, if you know enough about it, you might think it's named one or the other. Holy smokes, that's gorgeous. Uh, I have a friend hiking that trail uh, right now, actually, on trail. Hawk Mains. So, hey Hawk, maybe just passed you. It's a trail that interacts and crisscrosses uh, the Appalachian Trail. Jeez, that guy's set for winter. He is selling. That's a lot of firewood. Man, these open meadows really have gorgeous views. Traditionally, I'm always thinking about staying in the woods in the mountains, uh, but this is this is nice views for sure. It's uh, pushing about 9:40. I did stop for the gloves. We haven't made much time, but uh, we're doing we're doing good on the miles. It'd be nice if I could dry out my boots. Surprisingly, they did decent last night, um, but they're definitely still wet. So. If I get them dry somehow, that would be nice as well. Changed out socks to new darn tough socks so it doesn't feel like I'm swimming anymore. Nice, good, breathable socks. That cabin is killer to the left. Oh my gosh. Just turned off the, the main highway to whatever this beautiful thing is. It's brand new blacktop cut into the forest. This is gorgeous. Feels like it's just sticking to these tires. Some residential up here. Not much though, I'm not sure exactly why we're looking at black brand new blacktop but oh my and then you come out to that old school Appalachians if you didn't know a little uh, trivia for today the Appalachians are the oldest mountain range in the world Starting in uh, roughly southern Georgia um, and then getting more true in Georgia all the way up you know, the American coast and they actually uh, run over in Europe as well when uh, whatever you want to call it, Pangea used to be together but yeah the oldest mountain range in the world and we've been riding beside it for two and a half days this road just keeps going man this is awesome are fantastic once again well made wherever we're going here I think there's been a good amount of car traffic uh, like right here just getting a lot of washboard which is interesting to drive over wow look at that view that is what I'm talking about Hope that comes out on camera. That is stunningly gorgeous. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm extremely happy so far that this is somewhat of a manicured untechnical road because I am checking out those views way too much ah stunning and 
and overall again I don't know where this road is gonna go it's getting a little more chunky as we go up but pretty good roads today making good time I don't think we'll have any issues there oh my gosh man the views over here are just epic don't know what I'm looking at because we keep going up and down every damn mountain sideways straight forward and it's probably back into Georgia might be on uh, North Carolina kind of hoping at the top of this see if we can get any type of uh, a viewpoint or something yep and just as Barry announced our favorite thing steep down with a ton of loose rock and if this isn't coming out on camera steep then you're just not uh, you're not seeing it right oh boy there's just not been a bad road so far that is just hard to understand we've been doing quite a bit of traveling good lord we are way up there These views are unbeatable, Barry. Good governor. I noticed this particular road at the entry point, I don't know if you saw it, uh, Barry had gates on it. I think this is one that doesn't open till March 1st, some of these higher routes. I am ecstatic that it was open for us. Thick, thick gravel here. Jeez. Yeah, that was a little squirrely back on that last corner, Barry. Holy smokes. There we go. Whoa. Oh yeah, that is crazy. So on this road right down here we just came from, we crossed the, uh, it's called that Bet Mackay I had mentioned a couple times, now the Pinhoti a couple times, and I will see this road crossing in about two weeks on foot in a backpack. Small world. I was telling Barry I'll probably be breathing a lot heavier the next time I see it. But uh, my backside might be feeling a little better. got technical for just a little bit uh, but overall it's been a fantastic road all the gravel today has been been pretty good condition we are uh, just crossing the 50 mile mark it is uh, what is it man so I think it's only 1030 so we're I think we're doing good came up a long way so I do suspect this will be a long ride down <laughs> oh man is that a viewpoint Barry yeah let's take a look Oh my. What do we have here? Look at that. Get a little drink.
still chugging away on the same amazing road we've been up and down a few times steep climbs and steep descents here's one of which and there's just there's been no end we're just riding a, a mountain range it looks like a lot of ridgeline views beautiful on both sides for example Some of it has been uh, respectively manicured, um, easy to ride, so still keeping our time up. Some of it's been a little rougher, mostly the uh, as we get to some of the mountain peaks. We've gone through, I think, three um, closure, seasonal closure areas, so it's opened just a few weeks ago, but for the winter, and there's been three of them now, they close some of these roads, they're just too treacherous to drive through in the winter. We have not been back on Tamar Tamark. Let's try that again. We have not been back on highway or road or anything for a bit. This has been fantastic. What we got here? Huh. A lot of trails out here. I would assume that's probably what a lot of these roads are used for. I think Barry had just checked the weather again when we had service. Uh, I think it looks like about 3 p.m. is when the fallout happens, when it gets crazy. So definitely making some time. I think we'll be fine on that, depending how technical some of this stuff gets. There's really no... It's just been like, look at that mountain over there. It's just been... I don't know, man. What are we at? So about 12 miles of this. We're gonna be pushing 60 miles here in a little bit. This has been amazing. All right, we are still chugging along on this same service road. We've been on it for a minute. I would suspect pushing 15, maybe up to 20 miles before time to get off, but I've never, I mean, this has just been views the whole time. Now, as you can see, we're off the ridge lines. Back to our standard uh, creek. We got a creek below, below us here, but this has been just stunning. See the creek right there, if it'll come out on camera. This is the longest by far, I think, straight gravel road I have been on. And the combination of the views has been epic. Ran into uh, two adventure riders at another viewpoint. It looks like they're a mid-sized KTM, like maybe a 690 or 790 KTM. Uh, pretty bikes. They're out for the day, no luggage. Bikes very clean. And uh, they had made mention that, uh, just let us know in case we didn't know that there's some heavy rain coming in. Man, another waterfall right there. Yeah, more of this ride should be like this, just straight dirt for, man, I don't even know, half hour, 40 minutes. We should easily, I think, be making our time maybe 30 miles left, roughly, to get into Dalton. Find our place to sell it. Find ourselves a place to crash for the night. Get out of the rain. Seen a lot of these. I don't know what that is. Those purple flowers up there. Is that an azalea bush? I don't think it is. If you happen to know what those are. Uh, purple flowers are on the mountainside uh, comment below I'd love to find out all right I'm gonna keep plugging around on the gravel here we got the creek beside us so we must be coming down well then of course we're going up again this has just constantly been up and down and up and down like no tarmac in sight and I am definitely not complaining about that this has been awesome I'll bring you in with some viewpoints 
anything gets super crazy. Let's see what this turn looks like here. Oh, not too much there. All right, guys, I'm taking this in. <laughs> we'll see you after a little bit. Let's have another ride. This, this stuff. Just... All right, no rain. You can probably see the clouds behind me there. It is coming. Yeah. We're in Dalton. We're gonna go to one of my favorite restaurants. Eat up. Find us a hotel. What a ride today, man. That gravel, that like 20 miles on that mountain ridge line. Epic. I'll let everything charge up while I'm here. I don't know if you can hear that wind, but it's coming in. All right, let's get some food. We're at Tijuana. We made it in. Check out this fajita. It is absolutely to die for. Uh, real steak from the fajita. <laughs> Steaming up that lens. Look at that stuffed pepper over there. Yeah, sour cream. Nice. This is going to be amazing. We've been waiting for this all day long. Let's get after it. If you can't tell by the clouds behind me here and the outrageously strong wind, we are close to that witching hour. Oh, Eco Lodge is going to be my first stop, and uh, let's see if we can get a room. Split from Barry, he's gonna he needs to get a couple odds and ends at Walmart, uh, mentioning some gear he needed to get into. Um, so we're gonna go from there. Let me check in and see if we get a room. Oh yes, kind of comfortable bed as well. Welcome to the illustrious. Seven Star Econo Lodge in Dalton, Georgia. We made it. Rain is still about half hour away. Uh, just a couple sprinkles out there right now. Not too much happening. We are going to relax here as the day rouge comes through. The weatherman must... Uh, hopefully the weatherman is right. Uh, it looks like about an inch and a half of rain in a hour and a half's time. Let's get unpacked and get the bikes covered before it rains. We're all settled in. We're gonna just chill here for the night. I got Draven right outside. I still gotta put my cover on. Uh, but everything looks good. We're gonna call it a wrap from here. Ending uh, definitely early. Early. Two o'clock. Um, so the mileage really worked out nicely. But we do not want to get by this rain. So guys, I'm gonna end this video here. Don't forget to like and comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. <laughs> a lot to look over. Um, if you enjoy these videos, please do subscribe. It helps the channel a little bit. And uh, next week we'll have uh, episode three of uh, Overlanding in Georgia, getting into the uh, Georgia Traverse and the Great Smoky Mountains, guys. All right. For being a short day, it's been a long day. It's a beautiful ride out there. We're going to see you soon. Keep adventuring.